Uh, thank you very much for the invitation for this interesting conference. Uh, Ivan Fyodorov-Paskevich is the uh, uh, main ruler in this uh, uh, evolution on the revolution in Hungary, yeah, evolution of law. Yeah? Uh, Paskevich was called by the Tsar uh, the father commander. It had a completely unique position at, as a governor of the Kingdom of Poland almost a sovereign ruler and the commander of the active line army, the largest army in Russia. This was due to his merits for including the, uh, Nik Nikolai Pavlovich to the throne. Uh, Ivan uh, Fedorovich uh, Paskevich was served in the Guards Infantry Division with the future Emperor Nikolai I. After the death of Tsar Alexander I, Paskevich supported Nikolai and not the older pretendant to the throne, Constantine. At a crucial moment, Nikolai assigned Paskevich a secret mission to eliminate Yermolov, the proconsul of the Caucasus, the almost sovereign ruler of the Caucasus and the commander of the largest army, Russian army at, uh, at the time. Paskevich went to Georgia. Yermolov was dismissed. From uh, 26, uh, Paskevich commanded Russian army in Caucasus, and uh, he became a governor of the Caucasus. When the parliament of the Kingdom of Poland dethroned the Tsar in 1831, and the Polish-Russian war broke out, Tsar ordered Paskevich to lead the war. He led the suppression of the Polish uprising, after which he appointed governor of the Kingdom of Poland to shoot a policy of national oppression and russification. After defeating the Polish army, uh, the Tsar granted Paskiewicz to the title of Duke of Warsaw and appointed him governor of the Kingdom of Poland and commander of the active army. It was a unique position, practically full military and civil power on the border with the key powers of the Europe. Paskiewicz brought many of his uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, from, uh, from colleagues from Caucasus and filled them with higher position. But he stopped the depolonization of administration, not waiting the influx of Russian to not related with him to the kingdom. The constitution, the parliament, the Polish army were abolished and civil liberties were significantly curtailed. Paskiewicz was practically a sovereign ruler. He did not allow any interference with his authority from Petersburg. Then, in 1949, uh, he commanded troops during the suppression of the Hungarian Revolution. Paskiewicz's position, importance, independence, and influence on the Tsar make us wonder what view prompted him to invite Hungary. Paskiewicz expressed his personal beliefs and political view very sparingly. They fit into the slogan autocracy, orthodoxy, folk, of course, Russian folk. Attachment to the idea of all Russia has already evolved towards nationalism. This is true that he came from the Cossack of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, but they were, were uh, completely Russified and believed in uh, Moscow's political mission to rule over all Eastern as well as Western and Southern Slavs. To some extent, he was influenced by the Eastern plan of Catherine II, the capture of Constantinople by Russia and the takeover of the idea of the Eastern Roman Empire. Perhaps his origin and benefits and beliefs uh, made him dislike non-Slavic nation, especially Germans and Austrian. He repeatedly expressed dislike and even contempt and uh, distrust of Russia. <clears throat> it did not mean sympathy towards the Hungarians. It seems that would be more willing to join the Slavic country on the Habsburg monarchy with Russia if, if Austria was not convenient buffer for Russia, holding the nation of the Carpathians and Balkans in check. Paskiewicz recommended waiting. He changed his mind in the spring on 49 when Hungary managed to take initiative in the war. 
One of the secondary reasons for the Russian intervention was the mass participation of Poles in the fighting in Hungary. One of the secondary reasons for the Russian intervention was the mass participation of Poles in the fighting in uh, Hungary. Tsar was to be afraid that their participation in these events would lead to another Polish uprising, which would cover the territories of all partition former Commonwealth, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Uh, Tsar decided to provide armed support to Franz Josef. <coughs> In the proclamation issued on May 49, the Russian emperor justifies his decision to support Austria. With our manifesto, we informed our faithful subjects of the misfortune that <clears throat> befell the western part of Europe. Uh, and uh, at the same time, we declared uh, that we were ready to face our enemies. The riots and revolts in the west have not yet ended. On the contrary, the revolt were has strengthened with the bands of Polish traitors from 31 and other fugitives, exiles, vagabonds, and adventurers of various nations, and has taken on dangerous uh, proportion. And Russia will uh, fulfill its holy calling. Poland uh, at the time was under the law of Austria, Russia, and uh, Prussia. Most of the territories of the former Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth were incorporated directly to Russia in the form of Northwestern country and Southwestern country. Most of the territory, the former Duchy of Warsaw, was also given to Russia in 1815 under the name the Kingdom of Poland, which from 31 was uh, the private of constitution, army, and parliament. Uh, in his letter to the Tsar, uh, during the spring, uh, springtime of nation, Paskiewicz um, <clears throat> argued that they had complete control over the society of Kingdom of Poland. On March uh, 38, the Tsar wrote to govern, the governor, to Paskiewicz, Russia cannot remain an idle spectator of the general collapse of the German states she will be obliged to step in the matter in all her might and stop the revolutionary stream. Paskiewicz closely followed two events in Hungary, but hoped that uh, he would not have to act. In addition, Paskiewicz was clearly irritated by the, by the things of the Tsar's appreciation to General Radetzky. What's more, the Tsar ordered Paskiewicz's son to bring to Radetzky the nomination for the Russian Marshal Field. The Tsar and Paskiewicz undoubtedly wanted to help Autia, regardless of its attitude. The key argument was the role of Poles, Poles in the new uh, Great Hungary. However, Paskiewicz, above all, took care of his own affairs. It was up to them to rule over the Kingdom of Poland and to prevent anyone else from leading a possible intervention in Hungary. Paskiewicz considered the ideal plan to seize Galicia and Bukovina to control the roads to Transylvania. The occupation of Eastern Galicia was close to Paskiewicz's heads like uh, Russian lands. He advised to reject Austria proposal to enter Transylvania which would force risky fighting. In addition, he proposed to the occupation uh, part of Austria. Plan of the Tsar, take over Galicia and Bukovina and all passages through the Carpathian. Move troops carefully from Wallachia. Secure the border in Moldova. Quote, for us too, uh, the success of the Hungarian revolutionary government will have the consequences. If not now, that no doubt in the future. It is quite probable that Hungary, having defeated Austria, will, as a result of the existing circumstances, be forced to show the city's decisive support for the plans of the Polish emigration. 
Paskevich had to revise his minimalist plans when it turned out <coughs> that Austria might collapse. Paskevich did not value or like Russia, uh, Austria, but above all, he was an enemy all, of all uh, upheavals, including Hungarian ones, and moreover, he was afraid of the consequences for his reign in Poland. Count Kaboga came to Warsaw and with tears in his eyes, asked for help from Vienna. Paskiewicz had to make a personally unpleasant decision immediately, without asking the Tsar consent. The main invasion was to come from Galicia. Paskiewicz intended to go slowly, carefully, and minimize losses. Uh, Nicholas I, uh, uh, apart from Paskiewicz, uh, hated independent people. He uh, preferred obedient contractors and advisors, which led to his uh, downfall. Herzen wrote about Paskiewicz. Paskiewicz is not the blind executor of the Tsar's will. A special medal was established to commemorate the Hungarian war. Many European monarchs sent Paskiewicz their orders uh, of the first degree. Paskiewicz's position increased even more and the Tsar's confidence was boundless. The Tsar was waiting for the European war, and Paskiewicz was thinking about it with concern. The Tsar was convinced that revolutionary aspiration, aspirations would sooner or later cause such a war, and he uh, wanted to fight freedom movements uh, whatever way appeared. The Tsar saw weakness in the concession made by monarchies to constitutionalism. He believed that only Russia could oppose this decay. It was Russia's destiny. The Hungarian campaign further strengthened the Tsar in this specific belief. The army was also convinced to omnipotence. Soon this self-admiration will be brutally verified in the First Crimean War. Paskiewicz clearly resigned from the comprehensive solution to the Polish question. He considers Polish aspiration uh, invitable and limits himself to maintaining uh, superficial order. He sent other information to the Tsar. Now all Poles, local, Poznań, and Galician uh, are on our side because in those countries they do not see the comforts they expected from the German Revolution. And in our country they dream of <coughs> uniting the wall of Poland under one scepter. <coughs> Agreement between uh, Austria and Prussia and Olomouc, uh, 1850. Uh, it's comment uh, from the side the Paskiewicz. Poles becomes completely silent, silence, but not in exile. However, Paskiewicz had no illusion. When Austria left only uh, 20,000 troops, so 20,000 soldiers in Hungary, he wrote, what would happen if in our Poland and what disorder would flare up if such a small army were left in it? Paskiewicz's political views uh, have, uh, uh, are held uh, hostage to, the, to his career. Characteristically, he fully agreed with the Tsar, but did not always share his option on the means. He was a monarchist to such an extent that they saw his opponent not only in constitutionalism, but also in bureaucracy. That is in the slightest deviation from, from, for, from the idea of, uh, idea of autocracy, also in the eyes of the, uh, eyes of the people. I'm wearing faith in O's own gave and impulse to take further steps in the liquidation of the autonomy of Kingdom of Poland. Already in 41, changes in uh, education, bega education began. Uh, on August uh, 49, a new structure of the Warsaw School District was approved, making its structure similar to other districts in the empire. The vice curator, and soon the curator of district, was the uh, fire's Russifier, Paweł Aleksandrowicz Muchanow. Very important change 
was the liquidation of the Polish customs, customs territory at customs, customs administration, which meant that uh, St. Petersburg sized the huge revenue from customs duties. At the same time, the Russian Customs Act at administration was introduced in Poland. The Polish Customs Administration was liquidated. <coughs> In, uh, uh, 50, uh, in 1850, abolished the Polish customs service and introduced the Russian on one subordinated to the external trade department of the Ministry of Finance of the Russian Empire. Uh, then uh, the customs border was abolished and Russian customs tariffs were introduced in the Kingdom of Poland. The personnel of boards of customs district was russified immediately. Persons of Polish nationality were allowed only to hold the position of uh, office clerks. So it is, is the medal, Russian medal for the Pokorenie uh, Vengri. No more interesting is this, is the second medal. Revolt in Hungary, yeah, revolt. Is symbolic. Yeah? Russian eagle. And from Holy Bible. S nami Bog razumiejte jazyce i pokarajtis. In 51, the General uh, Directorate of Post Office of the Kingdom of Poland was abolished. And uh, uh, 13 postal district of empire was created from this, its territory, directly subordinated to the authorities in St. Petersburg. Moreover, pursuant uh, to the order uh, 50, April 52, the Warsaw Censorship Committee was subordinated to the main board of censorship in Petersburg. In fact, Russia saved the Austrian Empire. In addition to maintaining the status quo and fighting the revolution as an international phenomenon, Russia feared the consequences for its rule in Poland. Serious consideration was given to the possibility that uh, in the event of victory, the Hungarian would repay their debt of uh, gratitude to the Poles, first in Galicia and then in other Polish land. Of course, the uh, uh, idea, idea of liberating nation from empires was a serious threat for uh, Russia. We must also remember the politica political will of the Tsar, grandmother, Alexander and Nicholas, uh, uh, the Easter question. So it's a, a serious problem uh, when, it's, uh, was, when Russia stopped this program and uh, uh, now start to see for the Caucasus and Central Asia. It should be emphasized uh, that during the, this period, Paskevich cared primarily for his own fame, power, and benefits. He was not going to risk his position in this war or in the next one, the Crimean. The invasion of Hungary strengthened uh, the unique position of the father commander as the main pillar of the reign of Nicholas I. Paskevich was a conservative, uh, which should be understood that he, above all, a monarchist and supporter of absolute power. The people were for him only an object of power, and he explained his uh, behavior with the material factors. Thus the, denied him any political ambition of usurpation, were it not for his Russification activities. He could be considered a supporter of the Universal Empire. However, he cannot be suspected of understanding such issue. Paskevich uh, saw all the evil and danger in the nobility and officials. The Tsar was aware that uh, he could not conflict with the commander of the largest army. Uh, the sovereign ruler of the western part of the empire and a man of such prestige throughout the country. The spirit of nation stimulated Paskevich to work towards 
the unification of the Kingdom of Poland with the Russian Empire. But Ariel, he himself had inhibit this process. The leads of Kingdom of Poland undertook action similar to those of the Hungarians as early 1831. The defeat of the Hungarians accelerated uh, the changes in political tendencies among Poles. Already in 1948, uh, clear ideological disparities can be seen, seen, which will be fully relevated in January uprising 1863-1864. The Poles strongly advocated the fight for the liberation of all nations from the rule of the empire. The slogan for your freedom and ours was developed into the program Freedom, Equality, Independence, expressed on the seal of the national government in 1863 and confirmed by the three field coat of arms of the Poland, Lithuania and uh, Ruthenia, Kievian Rus. The treat from Russia enabled the Hungarian politician in exile, especially Kosut, to understand the necessity of cooperation of Hungarians, Poland, and soft Slavs in the fight for freedom. This gave uh, opportunity to the support each other in the following years of and contributed significantly to the support of the January uprising on the part, uh, uh, on the part of the Hungarian society. It should be emphasized uh, that most officers of the January uprising gained experience and formed their ideology uh, precisely during the Paskevich invasion of Hungary. The commander of the Polish Legion on Hungary gave a farewell speech to the Hungarian nation. We fought with you. We know it well, not as a mercenaries, not for personal interest, but in the hope that you success and your, uh, at our participation, it will become to the basis for further struggle, which is the constant goal of our lives, to fight for the independence of Poland, without which the independence of Hungary had never the maintenance nor achieved. So, invasion gave Russia a sense of power, uh, and it's related to the liquidation of the autonomy of Kingdom of Poland. For Polish elites, gave the reason to change political strategies. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.